All right, guys, we got a huge game coming at you now. We got the BYU Cougars, number 24, and then my Nebraska Cornhuskers. Can I get the first win against a ranked team in my first game? Hi, Let's everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports Cougars. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And with that, we kick off our season. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cornhuskers have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. Ready to take their first crack at it. Oh, get him! Get him! Get him! Hey, alert 48! Hey, go Mike! Down! Kill! Kill! Raider! Raider! Fires out to his wide out. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Using pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Slings it. I like how the offense is using. He makes his way to about the 48. If you can consistently in the play-action passing game. From the 48-yard line. It's first down. It's recovered. He's on the run. Slides down. You know, the first down, they're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And a quick throw. Second and one. Ball on the 21. down at the one. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's taken down at the one-yard line. Johnson gains about a yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the one. Let's go, defense. Ready! Let's go, defense. Touchdown, Nebraska! And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. He's to the 20. And down he goes, the 26-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He scrambles. And now he breaks free. He's at midfield. And he finally steps out at the 45. So they get the first down on the quarterback scramble. This guy just showed what makes him a great dual threat quarterback. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Five wide. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 43. Scrambling, slides down to the ground. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. And down he goes. 
at the 31. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Tackle around the 20-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 20. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. That's a great tackle at the 15 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. He scrambles and picks up five. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Defense stacked in tight here. And they'll get him in the backfield. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Check, check. They line up at the 12. Second down. Nebraska is up by a touchdown. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll make it third and five. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, Nebraska's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Frustrating for this defense. From their own 44 yard line. First down. Makes the grab past the marker. And they make the stop at the 40 yard line. on the run. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Nebraska up seven points. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Here we go. Caught and up for the first down. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's good enough for another Nebraska. First 
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, get you up to date from Philadelphia. And for Penn State, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. Falk has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Davis fields it at the three. Brought down by the kicker. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Once he saw it was a run, he made a great break on the ball and used his speed to make the big tackle. Second down and 14. Ball on the 41. He zips one over to the right. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Get to that quickly. And he is drilled at the 32-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of four yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it third and three. three. Tight end right. Two down, two down. 26 marks, 26 marks. Yeah. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Nebraska is going to use their first time out of the half here. So... Call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks away. They head to the sideline with nothing to show for that drive. So we'll change possession with a score 14 0, Nebraska. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things change in a big way before halftime. this one out to the left picked off by the senior Brad this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined here they are down by a couple scores and the defense comes up with a big interception showing that character that their coaches wanted to see from their own 42 yard line it's first down he's got it out to his tight end He's at the 40. Brigham Young will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 23-yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's scrambling. 
He's tackled in the open field. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up 32. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And he's going to come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and he got it. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 14-3, Nebraska. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 23. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He scrambled. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He laterals the ball. He's taken down at the 39. I'll tell you what, he's pretty nimble for a big guy. Excellent display of athletic ability. About five yards of the quarterback keeper. Second down and five. Ball on the 44. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining five on one play. That makes it first and ten. He tackles him for a loss. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's recovered. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. He's got room, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. Martin, the return man. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a deep nine. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Knocked down immediately after the catch. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 41-yard line, 
Second down. Rolling out to the right side. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll make it 39. They come out in a five-wide set. Looking for his man, incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Slings it out there incomplete. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. That's a big time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in midseason form. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Number seven with the tackle at the 36 yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle around the 24 yard line. That's a game 12 on the play. First down. Tackle made at the 12. Number seven makes the tackle at the 12 yard line. First down. From the 12 yard line. First down. They'll drop him for a loss. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. quickly and that was almost picked nice job getting a hand on that one yeah really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense we've got third and 12 ball on the 14 the crowd comes to the defense's aid here as the defense has this crowd pumped up fires it quickly and he can't hang on to it They can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Temple Owls doing battle in Philadelphia. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. We've got a tight one going on here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Nebraska is up by eight. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. The Cornhuskers in front by eight. out to his receiver and he's tackled around the 39 yard line that makes it second and two. so it's second down and about two yards to go has some daylight decides to slide so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And they make the stop around the 21-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And 
They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. throw to the tight end. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Falk is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a lick it. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Slings it. He's tackled at the 32. That brings him second, second and five. Ball on the 32. Just under three to go in regulation. He's on the run. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 46. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. And that'll be the second time that he found the quarterback today. From the 49-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down the 39-yard line. field and he's pushed out of bounds setting up a first and goal First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. He might have a chance, and they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. And it's the defense that comes up with a play of the game that should ice this one. And he adds the extra point. Falk has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. 
And that is a great call and a big gain, especially on an early down. First down. Quick throw. These short and effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. The Cougars will use their first time out of the half. That'll bring up second and three. Second and three. Ball on the 47 yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. He's taken down at the 34 yard line. Brigham Young will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. We have less than a minute to go. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Spikes the ball. Third and two. Ball on the 26. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. So the offense back in the red zone here and looking to erase the memory of that interception on their last trip. He's under some heat. Brought down at the three. That's a game of 10 on the play. That brings up second and one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They make the stop at the five-yard line. This is just a nice play by the defense. They're not fooled at all in this draw play. The Cougars, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. From the five-yard line, third down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. in the books. The Cornhuskers come out on top. 28-6. And the BYU Cougars. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time.